Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is Real Tarot. We're getting right into your July monthly love reading. We have the Queen and the King of Cups in reverse. So this is someone that you guys could be dealing with at the current moment or have broken up from. If you guys have broken up over an imbalance of um, emotions in your relationship, there's a lot of arguing going on, especially when the court cards are in reverse. It's not seeing eye to eye on something. So you or this person could have left they kind of feel overwhelmed without you in their life and they want to communicate on trying to build this union back to where you guys were but while you Aquarius you're like you know what I'm putting myself my happiness first and I'm just gonna leave this connection alone I'm tired of fighting over this I took you back so many times and I'm done for a lot of you as you leave this connection um this person is struggling to walk away. You know, they're going to try one more time to try to balance things out. I feel like you, Aquarius, you're struggling to leave emotionally as well, just for a short, some, a short few of you, because we have that Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Um, but as you choose yourself first and leave this connection, there's a beautiful um, soulmate connection potentially that could um, be coming in. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So there's an awakening that is trying to come in for you. But you have to be able to put in that work and actually choose what you want in love because the universe is going to bless you with justice and the lover card. The lover's card. You're going to get what you deserve, all right? What else is going on for Aquarius for the month of July? We have let your friends help you ask for support and accept for others. Yeah, so if you're going through a rough time with um, the person that you're in a relationship with, um, you don't have to do this alone. Definitely speak up about it. Um, I feel like you're closing yourself off. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past. So this could be why there's so many emotions involved. You could be wanting to take the next step in your relationship, getting married, having kids. And you're talking about the next steps and religion is in the factor. For some of you, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, because you're tired of the lies of this King of Cups. You know, them wanting, you know, them telling you that, you know, they're going to start paying more attention to you. They're going to start being more caring. They're going to call you. They're going to ask you out more. They're going to pay attention to your needs. And you're just noticing that throughout this whole time, this person's been wearing a mask and you're just over it. Or it's just, you're done faking, right? Keeping up with the Joe's just being in this relationship. For some of you, you have kids with this person. It's like, you want to keep this image for the kids, but... It's just not working. I feel like you guys are going to definitely have a long talk about um, being together, four of wands with the eight of wands, actually trying to make it work. But with the two of cups, it really, in reverse, you know, there really needs to be a balance here. And we're going to dive into that later. We have the four of swords and the hierophant in reverse for Taurus energy. Um, this person definitely thinks that they know it all and they don't really care what you have to say they're t the type of person that listens to themselves um speak um they don't you know they listen to speak they don't listen to respond and it's like you know you're tired like you love this person i'm getting like you love this person a lot but it's saying you know you have goals and desires that you want to do and this person is just not um loving they're not leveling up into the next chapter that spirit is being is spirit is pushing you towards there's a new cycle coming in for you why is the knight of swords showing up because this is fast energy the magician three of swords and the moon yeah this person is going to do whatever it takes to try to get you back even that's trying to manipulate the situation in the emotional sense this person i'm getting um small narcissist advice because the magician three of swords the moon card is here with the king of cups and the hierophant like i said they don't care about um anything but themselves but it could be dealing with the pisces we are in full moon and capricorn energy so a lot of this is still gonna try to trickle through into the month of july why is the six of swords showing up where you are the empress yeah because it's saying you're you're emotionally kind of depleted you need to pour that love into yourself and this is exactly what you're doing i just want to get more on this moon card yeah they could be high in effect that, that they're just watching you watching your page hoping to run into you not you know like um 
I feel like for some they're hoping to run into like a mutual friend of yours <laughs> just so they can like see um, how you're doing. They could work out the same gem as your friend. Um, but yeah, this person is just very cold emotionally, Aquarius. You're, it's, it's, it's like no matter what you say or do, you can't see eye to eye with this person. And it's like, I gotta go, I'm done. We have the five of swords here in reverse, so you kind of feel um, like you lost in the situation, but you did not. We have the lover showing up twice. I'm telling you, there's a soulmate coming in. We have the ten of cups and the eight of pentacles want to come in sideways, but you have to do the work. Yeah. It's crazy because look at this. As you do the work, you know, we have the three of pentacles here. This person is going to do the work, three of pentacles. And it's going to be an equal give and take. You're no longer going to feel abandoned. Five of pentacles here and always have to have your um, guard up. I think I just did. Man. Um, Aries that were similar to this reading. We have the seven of cups with the eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, so someone feels overwhelmed that they're losing you for good that you're walking away. You feel overwhelmed to walk away. The strength card is in reverse, so there's definitely a struggle here to get through this obstacle. Um, it's definitely saying to take your time with this. Because the will of fortune, you are um, going to be on the right track for the month of July. When it comes to building long-term love and stability, you are going to get this emperor energy. This could be a twin soulmate connection that is trying to come back or is coming in. This is divinely guided love. But for some of you, I feel like you were dealing with a karmic with this king and queen of cups energy. Yeah. Leaving a home, taking the kids with you. Disappointed that the household has been broken up, but it's in the best interest for you. With the ten of swords and the chariot. It's moving away from this heartbreak. Yeah. And choosing a new path for yourself. We have the two of cups and the two of wands in the world. So again, balance that is needed. There's a cycle that's trying to turn with the world in reverse. And it's about forgiving the mother or father or your child for some of you. For some of you, you struggle to they struggle to provide and you're just so um strung up on picking the wrong person picking the wrong parent for your child and please don't think like that you know this is um very heavy energy that i'm feeling with the herman mode it's like you kind of want to completely isolate yourself you could be dealing with the earth sign that has completely isolated itself they're very much in their pride and ego they're being kind of an a-hole to you um um angry at you on purpose because of you leaving this connection please don't let them win in that um they they just want you to feel bad because they literally just lost everything we have the eight of wands here a lot of you are going to be going into hermit mode after this breakup again just healing there's going to be communication about closure i feel like you you're you're going to try to gain closure from someone from your past this month aquarius that's something that you're very angry about that you just can't seem to let go and we have the Ace of Swords here, Aquarius. Oh, sorry, guys, these cards fell. Um, we have the Ace of Swords here, so I feel like this person it will communicate with you and give you clarity, but that's it. You know, you just want clarity, that's it. You're going to be done with each other for good, and you're going to be able to have this happiness here. So sometimes closure is definitely not a bad thing. Um, it's going to stop you from being in your head. Yeah, there's a tired moment that's trying to come in with the judgment. That you're now like, you know what? I'm putting my happiness first. I'm done. We had judgment in tower. It's saying you're going to learn this lesson and pass with flying colors. Hint, hint. But you have to choose that happiness first. And as you do, you know, become passionate what you want in love. Embrace this king of wands energy. Take action because feeling stuck is only going to keep you um, in this sadness here with the ace of cups in reverse. We have the two of cups in reverse. So let's see what comes out. Two of swords, yeah, balance needs to come in. You're blocking your heart. You're blocking your heart. It's saying to work on, ask yourself why you still feel hurt, why are you still feeling sad, why are you still feeling heartbreak? Because we always want to know how to heal, right? And as, and I always say, in order to heal, you have to feel. You know, let it go and let it flow. When you feel your heart struck or 
um, feeling this pain and hurt, ask yourself, why are you feeling this way? Be gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself. Because ignoring it is only going to make it worse. Right? Can't get the justice you deserve if you can't take this blindfold off. You have the clarity right there with the Ace of Swords. This person is trying to help you. The Vernon verse is trying to help you. You can let go. This bondage isn't tight. You can let go. Unravel at any time and take the blindfold off. But it's up to you. All right. Anything else for my Aquarius in love? We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth their sparring. Yeah, because you you deserve love. We have very soon clear to sight what you want so that it comes to you now. And there's children. Your love life is being affected by children. So for some of you, you're, you're hesitating because of children. But for the month of June, you're going to decide on what you want to make you and your children happy. We have masks, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting, sunglasses, watching, looking. That's what I was saying with the page of swords and the hangman. We have gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Then when we have the chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So there's going to be healing and learning lessons for you um, that could be involved in abandonment issues, inner child wounds. It's going to be um, purged out into the open. It's going to hurt, but it's going to be a really strong healing process for you. We also have cup, coffee cup. Like I said, some of you, you're going to get the closure that you deserve. You're going to meet and talk Um and feel unlifted and happy again. There's going to be a new cycle, like I said, that's coming in. But you have to be able to do the work and take that blindfold off. Um, I'm just going to dig deeper into this Eight of Swords. Anything else? Seven of Wands and the Six. Yeah. You're so stuck on being taken advantage of. And it's saying, again, to let your friends help you. Take charge in what you want. All right, Aquarius, for this month. There's going to be lessons here, but this Queen of Wands energy is very strong. She knows what she wants. She knows the goals that she um, wants to meet, and she's going to take this leap of faith and deal with that. So as you heal, look at this beautiful <laughs> new journey that you're going to be on, but you're literally hanging on this connection. So, whew. all right, Aquarius, I'll see you guys next week.